Beautiful day here, October 3rd. Nice day to pull the valve cover off the dump truck on the side of a cottage road. I was trying to head out of here yesterday and I think I lost an injector, so got her opened up. I'm gonna start it now and unplug them one by one to see if I can figure out which injector it is. Hopefully it's only one. Holy, I'm sweating. It's like 30 degrees today. Okay, I'm really nervous to start this with no valve cover on here, but I kind of don't have an option at this point. <laughs> Doesn't sound like it's knocking as bad as it was yesterday. October 5th, back up at the dump truck. Was able to source an injector yesterday, so got it ordered. It's coming out of Denver, Colorado. So at this point, waiting on an injector and waiting on baby. You're due tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> 40 week pregnant assistant. So get that old injector pulled out. So I've got this uh, rail moved out of the way with all the wiring on it so I can get up the injector bolts. And now I'm gonna take this sensor out to drain the oil out of this rail so all the oil doesn't end up in the cylinder when I pull the injector out. To take this sensor out, you need an inch and a 16th wrench. So I've got the two bolts out. Loosen it up a bit. There we go. There she be. A leaf. Not a good spot for a leaf to be. That's it for now. See you when we've got an injector. October 12th today, got the new rebuilt injector here, ready to go in. When I was at the diesel shop yesterday, I gave the guy the old one for the core and the tip was broken on it. And he said that's caused by either low fuel pressure or air in the fuel, that those tips just don't break for no reason. So there's still something else to diagnose, but at least I can get this in. I just used a syringe and I sucked all the old fuel out of the cylinder so it won't do any damage or hydro lock so that just slides in there i put oil on all the seals so i got that injector back and i pushed it in as far as i could and then these little eight millimeter bolts i just did a couple turns at a time so i got it drawn down tight installed the electrical rail again plugged in all the plugs i'll pull all these out of here and stick the valve cover back on once it's under that i'll get you to grab it it's a game of operation. Hold it there. Yep. I've got to get this wiring harness plug up through here. Okay. We can try and let it down now. I'm down here at the back. Okay, yeah, I'm down as well. Getting stuff buttoned back up here. Got the AC compressor belt tensioner back on, all the wiring kind of situated back on there. Probably going to throw these intercooler pipes back on. So when I was at the diesel shop yesterday, the guys printed out some things for me and it gave me the priming sequence. So this is the uh, plunger for the fuel. So you just gotta keep pumping that until it gets hard. So we're just leaving this thing for now. The uh, fuel primer won't get hard. It just pumps and pumps and pumps. So I'm not really sure what the issue is. And C-section is scheduled tomorrow for the baby. So until next time. See you later. So before it was this fuel primer that wouldn't get hard. Okay, it's kind of doing the same thing that it was before. I don't know if that's a problem or not, but I got a different one to try. I can still hear the fuel going back into the tank every time I pump. So I just pulled this little strainer off. It just goes behind the primer. I don't really see anything pretty clean, really. Just gave it a quick shot of brake clean. Cleaned it all out. The O-ring appears to be in good condition, so I'll stick this back on. Actually, I'm gonna leave that loose and then try and pump that and see if I can get fuel to come out of there. Now that there's no fuel in that strainer, it's not even trying to draw. I'll try switching that hand pump.
I don't know, you can't really see anything in there. I can't hear anything shaking around. Looks like it's the same thing. This new one isn't a Bosch, it's a Dorman. Dorman? 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 It was about 50 bucks on Amazon. There was one that was only $14, but I didn't have a whole lot of faith in that one. International wanted like over 200 bucks just for this part. I wish I had a, had a way of diagnosing this to determine if this was the problem or not. I guess a fuel pressure tester would have helped, I'm sure. Last Thursday when I was working on this, by the time I got the injector back in and everything back together and got to the point of messing with this, I was kind of more thinking about having a baby the next morning. Okay, that's snug. guy stopped on the road and he cranked the key while I was priming the hand pump. It never got hard, but it fired right up. I'm sure the exhaust is just full of oil and diesel. It sounds like it's running smooth though. I don't know. Like over here, there's a lot of smoke coming off the turbo, but it was all oily from before, so I'm sure that's just it burning off. But everything seems like it's running okay. I was just looking for fuel leaks around anything I had loose. I don't see any. Building there. Made it out to the end of the cottage road. Exhaust finally finished burning off. It was smoking the whole way, but gonna give her a go. Head for home. Let's get him over. 